Hello, my name is Rafael Vila, and this is the third tutorial after many years um, creating tutorials. Um, today, I'm going to show how to create a website using Inkscape. Inkscape is a real amazing tool that you can download for free, and uh, it's a vector based graphic uh, software and, and it's probably one of the most powerful open source software in, in the market in the, in the open, open source industry and as you see this is something that I am working on this is uh, the, my website that I'm about to revamp and I decided to design the, the website with Inkscape just to test the power of this software and see its capabilities and also I wanted to have a clean nice looking website uh, using the the new magazine style uh, what Microsoft Windows start uh, calling Metro style but now it's called magazine uh, probably uh, because uh, the fans on for Mac users but this is uh, a style clean easy to to navigate and all that and as you see there's a many uh, elements that I'm and I'm using to create a web and wanna this is this this is gonna be the hover when you hover when you hover over a link or something like that the 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 pointer will look like this uh, all the section how the articles from my blog will display and this is a test that I have on my local host of using this technique as you see it, it changes a little bit I, while I was developing uh, I come up with different ideas uh, but see how the i the icon of the mouse changes when I hover, and exactly the the design that you saw there, the the element that I create for that, um, and this is a simple uh, HTML website uh, using PHP in the background uh, for the Ajax creating the HTML5 website. Uh, this is a uh, static HTML. Uh, here is going to be my uh, my portfolio uh, images, uh, slide uh, slideshow of my portfolio, and obviously uh, services and the na the standard navigation is going to be a simple navigation. And all this was designed in the amazing <laughs> Inkscape. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, well, I have a, a project that I'm working on, and, and I'm going to use it as a, as an example um, to create our, our website. First of all, uh, when you're designing a website right now, the one of the one of the features of the website that I'm going to be designing, it has to be a simple image with simple navigation buttons like five buttons and it's gonna have a, a big image on the background and the navigation buttons will be five navigation buttons and that's it that that's gonna be the website so I'm gonna design it here uh, that way you have to many advantages to design something before you put it on the web first it's gonna be easier for you to determine uh, what you're gonna do for your CSS uh, how you're gonna manage your CSS and I'm gonna start with the default and uh, here is the window so the default is gonna is give us this uh, a4 uh, paper size I, I guess the developers for Inkscape are from Europe and the Europe area uh, haven't checked it out is but they're making an amazing work well 
I'm gonna change this and to change uh, the um, the art the art artboard the only thing that you need to do is go to file and you see in the menu something that's called document properties and document properties I can change the aspect I'm gonna use I'm gonna be using pixels uh, for now so I'm gonna make a standard HD uh, web HD size 1280 by 720 pixels website so I'm gonna try to accommodate the image because this is almost most of the screens today uses these aspect ratios is what 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 we see if you don't understand what we see around that is said 16 by 9 this is the 16 by 9 ratio so that's when you design your website just try to use this aspect ratio either portrait or landscape uh, depending what you are designing for uh, because our customers are more uh, guided to desktop uh, I will not bother to make this for a mobile but if you're gonna make a mobile website I will suggest to start with the portrait and start with the minimum screen size and after that you spread it out spread it out so you make a responsive website for for now we're gonna make something simple first the customer wants to uh, to have a photo in the background and I'm gonna use uh, any a photo from for this example I'm gonna use a, a photo from the stocks that I download from stock exchange an amazing website stock exchange you can find it here we I have a lot of stuff open let me close 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 this is another customer website uh, my website so Instagram I don't want Facebook to pop up now so <laughs> let's call cancel it now to access stock exchange the address is sxc.su this is an amazing free image stocks and uh, it was bought by um, oh really forgot the name <laughs> is a very popular uh, they have a paid version that is called iStock photo and they were bought by a big company uh, get an image <clears throat> but you're gonna get nice photos in this in this site and most of them you don't have to give any credit which I just suggest to just yes, give credit uh, those people work hard and waste a lot of money on in photography so I suggest to give credit to whoever on to whoever credit is owner so now <clears throat> I'm gonna use any any image. Let's let's use that one, and I'm gonna link it. So as you see, this is a big image, but I'm gonna accommodate it uh, to that. All right. So now that I have this. And this is awesome. You see that that you cannot see the artboard, and uh, doesn't don't worry about it. The only thing that you need to do is uh, let's position it there. Go back to File, Document Properties, and say Border on top of Drawing, and that will show the artwork, artboard border, in top of the design. <clears throat> Those. Of you that are used to illustrate around that they always put the art in top obviously something I think it should be put on the default <clears throat> and you don't have to worry the image goes off if you're kind of uh, uh, green like me um, what you can do is just create another um, 
oops why I did that <laughs> create another um, yeah NetBeans fabulous fabulous ID uh, create a, a block and let's see I'm sorry that let's see the feel has stroke no has stroke feel it's okay that's perfect and I'm gonna make it 100 by 720 so use the same aspect ratio and I'm gonna do to position 0x and 0y to be as in the sack baseline with that selected you select both and you come here to object you see this option that say mask and set so there you go you have your your image crop to the aspect ratio without uh, having to open GIMP and create another image just for that now I'm gonna show the layers and I'm gonna rename this layer background I'm gonna lock it and, and not messing with that background and I add another layer that is gonna be the navigation area remember this is gonna be a very simple website and in the navigation I'm gonna create I'm going to to create I'm going to create five buttons but first of all I'm going to, I'm going to create the button uh, one thing that I like a lot from Inkscape that make it easier to design is that it has a lot of power and um, it uses the the SVG uh, framework if you could call it like that to create images so everything that you do is really uh, web friendly <laughs> so <clears throat> now we create this uh, and let's choose to have in a gradient edit that gradient or well you don't have to do that the only thing if you want to edit the gradient you can do it like that directly if you're like some people that like complication complicated stuff but I like simple stuff so like make it simple I want to do this and you see how nice it looks also I want the border radius so just a, f a little bit of border radius and let's change this color to something more nicer softer uh, something like that and then click the other one and select the same color with the alpha all gone something that nice ain't that nice there, there you go you got one button add a stroke let's make it white 255, 255, 255, or you, you just simply could use the FF, FF, FF. That is good. And stroke with, let's make it three. 